my name's Tanup Shaw and I'm from the University of New South Wales. Today we're going to do a question from Chapter 3 of the Math 1131 Algebra course. In particular, we're going to do question 37, which is asking us to find roots of quadratic equations that have complex coefficients. So we're trying to solve z squared minus 3z plus 3 minus i equals 0. This is just a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic formula to find this solution. So z equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Just cleaning that up a bit, we'll get a plus 3 plus or minus the square root here we have 9 minus 12, that gives us minus 3 is the real part, plus 4i is the imaginary part over here, all over 2. So here's our solution for z, but inside that we have the square root of a complex number there. We need to know what that is. So, let's find... what this square root of minus 3 plus 4i is as a complex number in Cartesian form. So in other words, I could say let a plus i b be that square root. And if I square both sides, I'll just get a plus i b all squared is equal to minus 3 plus 4i. Expanding this out, we'll get a squared plus i squared b squared overall is minus b squared, that's my real part, plus 2abi, that's my imaginary part. That's equal to minus 3 plus 4i. So if I equate the real and imaginary parts, I'll get two equations with the two unknowns a and b, and I can solve them. So we get a squared minus b squared is minus 3, and we get 2ab is e equal to 4. Okay, So I can solve these and that's perfectly fine, you can solve from here. But there's a neat trick that will help us solve these equations even faster. The neat trick involves looking at this equation up here and taking the modulus of both sides of that point there. So, if I take the modulus of a plus ib squared, so I take the modulus of this number, that's actually the modulus of a plus ib squared. That's a property of complex numbers there. The modulus of z squared is the same as the modulus of z squared. So, this, the modulus of a plus ib is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, squared, that will just be a squared plus b squared. Now, the modulus of the right-hand side is just the square root of minus 3 squared plus 4 squared. That's the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay. So if we look at this side and take the modulus of both sides, we will get this equation, a squared plus b squared equals 5. So we're using a bit of a rule over here. Okay. Now, this is much nicer to solve. We have three equations and two unknowns. So we kind of got so many, we've got more equations than we need, but it makes it much nicer. Because now if I say add equation 1 plus equation 3, I eliminate the b squareds and I'll get 2a squared is equal to minus 3 plus 5. So a squared is 1, so we have a is 1 or minus 1. Okay, straight away we can just eliminate it. Now we could do the same, we could subtract the equations and eliminate A and get B. However, then we have the plus minus and we, we don't know which ones go with which. So it's much better now to substitute into number 2 to find exactly what B is. So substitute into 2. And here we'll have 2 times A times B is equal to 4. Or B is 2. And here we'll have 2 times a times b is equal to 4 again, but b will equal minus 2. So we have our a plus ib. So we have 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i. 
that's a plus ib, that is plus or minus 1 plus 2y. Okay, we expect two square roots. Here are our two square roots, the plus and minus versions of 1 plus 2y. So, I know what this is um, in terms of a plus ib. Notice that we don't really need the plus minus from the quadratic formula because we've got our plus minus there. So we simply have 3 plus minus the square root of minus 3 plus 4i is a these, they're our option. And so just computing that, we either have 3 plus 1, which is 4, um, plus 2i over 2, or we have 3 minus 1 and minus 2i over 2. And simplifying, just dividing everything by 2 there, we have 2 plus i and we have minus 1 minus i. Notice that they're not in complex conjugate, they're not complex conjugate pairs here uh, because these coefficients weren't real. So that's how we solve a quadratic equation and how we find square roots of complex numbers in Cartesian form.